in this part uh, we will talk about uh, design formats four different design format will be introduced in this part the first uh, <clears throat> design format is um, ASD ASD mean allowable stretch design second design format is PD PD mean plastic design and the third one is LIFD and LIFD mean load resistance factor design and the last one is advanced analysis so step by step I am going to introduce the different concept and then uh, I will uh, uh, provide uh, several examples to show how different between the different design concept. The first one is ASD. In allowable this straight design format, the um, um, <clears throat> Condition is so in by this equation, okay. The condition here, here, um, and uh, RN, RN is yielding stress, okay. Yielding stress, so uh, let's say it is sigma y and QN is load effect uh, for example stress in a section okay stress in a section and uh, i mean uh, different uh, load so for example uh, uh, this load and life load and wind load and snow load and so on and fs FS is a safety safety factor or factor of safety okay factor of safety or safety factor is uh, depend on the uh, component for example if for beam component we have FS equal to 1.5 so or in another um, what is uh, 0.66 sigma y so for example in this case the left part equal to 0 0.66 multiplied by sigma y okay so this part is here for uh, tension color uh, for tension uh, um, um, component about equal to 1.62 or uh, corresponding to 0 0.6 for column it is 1.92 uh, or 0 0.52 okay so this part it, it depends on the load and uh, structure and you can calculate the stress and compare that is allow design allow, uh, allowable stress design format the second one is plastic design pd pd format in pd format the condition is rn greater than or equal lambda multiplied by the sum of q and i here rn now is strength of section strength of section for example mp is plastic moment okay plastic strength moment so again rn now is strength of section in the previous one is stress elite stress but here is strength of the section and the lambda <coughs> uh, qn is load effect load effect in this case maybe the um, 
uh, internal internal force like moment of the section okay due to the load and lambda is load factor depends on the load and its combination okay load combination for example lambda equal to 1.7 for this load plus life load okay so lambda for equal to 1.3 for this load plus life load and wind load uh, yes wind load this load light load and wind load combination then we have lambda equal to 1.3 so normally we use this load and life load then we have lambda equal to 1.7 that is load factor that is plastic design <coughs> format LIFD load resistance uh, uh, factor design load and resistance resistant factor design the condition is high RN greater than or equal to sum of gamma I Q and I here again RN is strength of the member for example MP okay plastic moment it is strength of the member plastic strength of the member and uh, pi is resistance factor resistant factor it depends on the um, um, component for beam pi equal to 0 0.9 and for columns pi equal to 0 0.85 uh, so from now on if you are considering you are working with beams then pi equal to 0 0.9 and if you consider the columns then pi equal to the resistance factor equal to 0 0.85 so remember and gamma i is load factor depending on load and its combination for example for this load only then the load factor is 1.4 but for the combination between this load and live load and snow then the combination here now we have different load factor let's say 1.2 for this load 1.62 for uh, 1.6 for live load and 0 0.5 for snow then load factor i depending on the load and its combination <clears throat> and also this is um, load effect like uh, moment of the section induced by the load depending on the um, also the um, boundary condition okay the last um, design format is advanced analysis nowadays uh, advanced analysis format is normally used with the help of the computer <clears throat> so as you know uh, when we consider a struct structural su system like a, a bridge or like a frame building frame something so this is a structure system not a member okay but a structure system so it means it is a little bit complicated. We cannot calculate hand calculation. We cannot use hand calculation, but we need a um, computational analysis. So for system, numerical analysis with FEM method should be used. So um, I think uh, many of you are very familiar with numerical analysis using FEM method for system. And second, 
in advanced analysis, we use this format. Do you remember this? What is this design format? It is LIFD. Okay, LIFD. LIFD format. <clears throat> Load and resistance factor design. And thus, in advanced analysis, the combination between plastic analysis, plastic analysis, and structural stability is used. So, the name of advanced analysis means plastic analysis and structural stability. So, um, <clears throat> in advanced analysis, plastic analysis, it means uh, inelastic material, uh, plastic of the material is considered, okay? Plastic analysis means the, the plastic behavior of the material is considered. And structural stability means the second order analysis is considered. So in advanced analysis, we consider also the plastic behavior of the material and the structural stability analysis. So we also call advanced analysis is second order analysis, okay? second order analysis, plastic second order analysis. The result of the advanced analysis normally is uh, the uh, load and deflection curve like this. Okay. <clears throat> so here is uh, uh, inelastic nonlinear behavior. Inelastic mean plastic the material inelastic and nonlinear mean the structural stability is considered then we have inelastic nonlinear behavior this is here that is a result of advanced analysis and it is collab limit uh, load carrying capacity of the system okay of the system Okay, so uh, you already um, learned about four different design format, and from now on we can uh, we may use one of four hmm. the uh, design curve, um, the design format. Okay, the next is uh, the comparison of ASD with PD. Comparison of allowable stress design and plastic design. Now let's consider uh, a fixed end beam under distributed load like this. For design uh, uh, ASD, allowable stress design. We have what is WA? WA mean um, what is uh, uh, elastic? Limit load, elastic limit load. Okay, allow limit load. As you know, in bending, <coughs> sigma max equal to sigma y, sigma a, or equal to 0 0.66 sigma y. I already uh, mentioned this in ASDY. And we have uh, M max. Here. So here's Mx, right? Mx equal to Wa L square over 12. It is uh, elastic. Now we have sigma max equal to Mx divided by S or equal to Wa L square over 12 of S. So S is plastic, 
uh, section modulus depends on the, uh, <coughs> uh, the section shape from one and two then we have what we have w i l square over 12 s equal to 0 0.66 sigma y All right very simple then from this we have w a the plastic limit load equal to this one okay elastic limit load equal to 12 multiplied by 0 uh, by 66 m y over l square <clears throat> so remember the um, plastic elastic limit load so in another word the solution of ISD is WA equal to this one how about plastic design in plastic design we have to determine WP what is WP okay WP equal to very simple 16 MP of L we already know right we already know WP equal to 16 MP over L square so now we compare between MP and uh, WP and WA this is plastic collab load and this is elastic limit load it is due to plastic design and this is due to ASD allowable stretch design okay then the ratio between the uh, plastic load and elastic allowable stretch design load equal to this divide by the first one okay then we have this so uh, on point 33 is due to redistribution okay the force of the initial uh, internal force redistribution due to the redistribution of um, the internal force 1.5 is due to allowable safety factor so this is for beam the column is different right <clears throat> and f f is ratio between mp over my it is shape factor for example for the um, i section okay i section it is 1.12 it's called shape factor then for i section we have the ratio between plastic a collab load and uh, allowable uh, strat design load is 2.23 it is called safety factor safety factor okay so the ratio between the plastic the design solution and ASD solution is very big now let's see <clears throat> you have this curve on the uh, load and deflection curve this point is uh, wa I mean the solution the load solution of ASD WP 
a solution corresponding to plastic design and they have a, a big gap so what is this this one is due to the redistribution of the uh, internal force and this one is due to shape factor shape factor depends on the shape of the section and this one is due to the uh, allowable safety factor allowable safety factor and totally the gap or the ratio between WP and WY equal to 2.23 that is shape factor um, now we consider a simple beam it is a simple beam okay previous uh, one is a fixed end beam and now we uh, simple beam in simple beam for ASD design we have mx equal to uh, wa l square over h equal to sigma as and now we have wa equal to this one okay that is allowable strat design solution a lot corresponding allow lot corresponding to asd for plastic <coughs> design plastic design we have a max equal to wp l square over 8 equal to mp this is mp then wp equal to 8 mp over l square Okay, so again, this is a solution corresponding to ASD, and this one corresponding to uh, the solution corresponding to PD. Then the racer safety factor equal to about 1.7, 1.7. So for this structure, it is determined. Determinate structure, okay. Determinate structure. The factor, the safety factor is 1.7, but the interviewer's one is 2.23. So safety factor of different structure has different value. This is a uh, uh, de de determinate structure. We have ASD. The safety factor is 1.7. And plastic design safety factor is 1.7 but for indeterminate system ASD safety factor is 2.23 in the plastic design safety factor remain 1.7 so what is conclusion plastic design has uniform safety factor It is load factor in plastic design. So it is uniform shape factor. 1.7, 1.7 in all K, in every structure. But in ASD, has a different safety factor. It is consistent. <coughs> Inconsistent, right? So um, ASD has different value different safety factor depending on the um, the boundary condition of structure why plastic design it is um, in con um, independent to um, um, boundary condition okay so um, okay well I hope that you understand uh, you can uh, understand uh, 
different design concept and uh, its application into the uh, plastic and elastic analysis of structure. 